Hey guys, Roger Alexander here, and today we. I look a mess because I went out last night to a party um, and got back about an hour ago. And it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so excuse the hair, outfit, and whatnot. But hey ho, today we are watching Game of Thrones season three, episode seven. I can't wait. It's been, I've been really enjoying it. I, I loved the end of the last episode. Um, I thought it was like a really cute, happy sort of ending. But it's Game of Thrones, so I don't know how long that's going to last. So yeah, without further ado, let's watch this episode. God, I look dreadful. It's actually not fucking pregnant. You yeah, like. Oh, she's pregnant. Prince or princess inside me. Oh, did I just I said? Sprash not pregnant. Don't get greedy. <laughs> How do they check in these days? These this? Do you have things? Obviously, just like of the breasts of a grin ship. I don't know how it works. Has Lord Tyrion mistreated you? Exactly. Yeah. Why is everyone so fucking like fuming? Tyrion's awesome. I don't want him though. Tried to help. He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? I'm sorry. Here I am complaining to you. My son will be king. Sons learn from their mothers. I plan to teach mine a great deal. And they've had a Targaryen girl in the East. And her dragons. Shush. Where did you hear about this? Is it true? Curiosities on the far side of the world are no threat to us. But how do we know these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts that brought the whole world to heal? Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counselling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counselled. You are being counselled at this very moment. I should be consulted about such things. From now on, I will see to it that you are appropriately consulted on important matters. Whenever necessary. So he's saying that the dragons won't be any bigger than a great. carriage. Why can't I want fucking knock-off dragons that are going to be huge as fuck that people can ride on? Not bloody wincy dragons. Tiel Daenerys. Oh, wait, yes! Yellow City. Now comes the noble Rajdal no Elas of that ancient and honourable house. Oh! Master of men and speaker to savages. They get in the terms of peace. <laughs> noble Lord, you are in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn and House Targaryen, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. Imagine trying to write that in an envelope. My insight need practice, so I was told to blood them early. If blood is your desire, blood shall flow. But why? It is true you have committed savageries in Astapor, but the young Kai are a forgiving and generous people. Powerful friends, friends who would take great pleasure in destroying you. Those who survive, we shall enslave once more. Perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well. Good luck with that. You swore me safe conduct. I did. But my dragons made no promises. And you threatened their mother. Take the gold. She's fucking ruthless. My gold. You gave it to me, remember? I'm Can't you put it to good use? You'd be wise to do the same with my gift to you. Now get out. The Yogish are a proud people. I'm your whore. And when you are tired of fucking me, I will be laughing. Oh. Your 
father's house. It was Robert Baratheon! Surprise! Just a bastard. The bastard of Robert of the House Baratheon. First of his name, King of the Andals and the First Man. Why do you think the gold cloaks wanted you? There is power in the king's blood. The problem is, is she's she still wants fucking Stannis to be the king. So she's not using her. Him. Stannis, you're not going to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, and as for these two. I thought she were gone. Just get married, please. No, be just get together. She called it Jamie. Dop, you're not gonna do that. Three times outside. Well, I'm Jon Snow and I'm from Winterfell. My daddy was a fancy lord and I lived in a tower that touched the clouds. If you were impressed by a windmill, you'd be swooning if you saw the great keep at Winterfell. Not swooning. Fainting. <laughs> What's fainting? When a girl sees blood and collapses. Why would a girl see blood and collapse? <coughs> Girls are like you. Our girls see more blood than boys. Or do you like girls who swoon? That's true. <gasps> oh, a spider! Save <clears throat> me, Jon Snow! My dress is made of the purest silk from Tra la 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 day. I'd like to see you in a silk dress. Would you? So I could tear it. Oh, you ripped my pretty silk dress. I'll blacken your eye. <laughs> She's probably not joking. <laughs> oh, I mean, the bear's really cute. Oh, fuck. Stays. 
No, she doesn't. Taking it to King's Landing. Unless you kill me. She belongs to me. Lord Bolton soldiers. What do you think is more important to Lord Bolton? Getting his pet rat a reward or ensuring time and manners to get his son back alive. Push him in. Well, it's going away. Go on. Sorry about the sapphires. Oh. Yes. Oh my god, I love them so much. <laughs> Hope the bears are okay. Okay guys, so I didn't enjoy that episode as much as I have the previous episode. It was good, I, I obviously really enjoyed the scene with the Neris, which goes without saying, and I really enjoyed that end scene. I love loving the scenes um, between Brienne and Jamie, and I hope they just get together and get married. So, because she's the lady, and so that could happen, but oh my god, imagine if he falls in love with her and Cersei's, and he doesn't want Cersei anymore. Shit, well, I've just thought about that. Shit's gonna fucking go down, so I hope it happens because I reckon that'd be amazing. So yeah, all in all, a decent episode. Not one of my favourites, but still, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was constantly being dragged through. There were scenes that were good. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, until next time. See ya.